Yeah, good evening and welcome to Edja First Time. Yeah, the Stephen is on air again at such a time like this. I want to give praise to God because he said, as long as the earth lasts, there shall be seed time, there shall be harvest, there shall be summer, there shall be winter, there shall be day, there shall be night. Night will not be permanent, day will not be permanent. You will not only plant, you will also sow or harvest. And that is why I have the assurance that no matter whatever you are going through in life, it has expiry date. Now, there are some people that have stayed in the night of poverty, night of failure, night of oppression, night of sickness, night of deprivation, denial, night of strange experiences that they feel that they do not have a day at all at all to see, a sun to see. But the word of God declares his anger endured but for a moment. In his favor is life. Then the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night. Sickness may endure for a night. Poverty may just be there for a while. But joy cometh in the morning. I come to assure you and reassure you that your joy of morning is coming. That's my message. And I'll take you to the church to make sure that you enjoy, you have the assurance that your morning of joy is coming. Don't go away. All right, now. I want to briefly talk on the topic I titled My Morning Will Come. Uh -huh. There's no way you will remain in the night forever. Your morning will come. There's no way you will remain in problem forever. Solutions will come. There's no way you will continue in that predicament. There's going to be wonderful presentation of uncommon favors that will make men to celebrate you. Look at somebody that tell me, don't think that I will be like this forever. My morning will come. And it shall surely come in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. It is not in the hand of your enemy. No, the, your morning is not in the hands of your enemy. If it was in their hands, they won't bring it. They will still remain in darkness. But I thank God my morning is in the hands of the Almighty God. Who controls times and seasons. Who said, as long as... You know, the world will continue. There will be day and there will be night. And when the night is over, morning will come. My morning will come. Look at what the Bible says in Psalm 30, verse 5. Psalm 30, verse 5. Scriptures is very clear in that passage of scriptures. It says, For his anger endured but a moment. God's not going to be angry, for you, angry with you forever. Neither will the end. If God is not going to be angry with you forever, why will the enemy think that he will keep you in punishment forever? Somebody says a lie. In his favor is life. And somebody is going to hit favor this day. Weeping may endure for a night. It won't be more than one night. It won't be more than a short period. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. You're weeping, you're crying, you're, you're anger, whatever you are going through will be for a short time because your morning will come. But the Bible says, my but joy comment in the morning. Meaning that if my morning will come, then my time of celebration will come. That's what I'm talking about. If your morning will come, because joy comes in the morning. Singing comes in the morning. Cutting of cake comes when? Whining and dining comes when? And so get ready, you will wine and dine. In this, your single life, something unique will happen to you. I don't think somebody is hearing me now. In this, your single life, the Lord is going to perfect that which concerns you. God has a set time for somebody. So no matter how long the night appears to be, your morning will come. And when morning shall come, joy is coming with the morning. There's a set time for you, my sister. There's a set time, and that set time, nobody can shift it. No, nobody can tamper with it. It is in the hands of God. God, the word of God says, my times are in thine hands. It's not in the hand of witches and wizards. It's not in the hands of those who do not want me to celebrate, or those who do not want me to laugh, those who do not want me to have children. It's not in their, in their hand. If it was in their hand, it would have been in that case. My times are in thy hand, and the time for marriage is coming. The time for a new appointment is coming. Your time for joy and to enjoy wealth is coming. Brothers and sisters, I don't mind, I don't mind whatever you have been going through. No, don't mind, no, six months of this year have come and gone, or a part of your life have been spent and you are here to see morning. 
does not mean money will not come. I don't think somebody is telling me now. I said your money will come. No matter what people have started saying about you and they say, it's too late. That's what they said about Lazarus. It's too late to open the grave. No, Lazarus' morning came. Your morning will come. A time of joy is coming your way. A time of celebration is coming your way. A time of favor is coming your way. You may have made many mistakes, but your morning will still come. You may have been disappointed a number of times, but an appointment eventually will come. You may have fallen a number of times, but you will not die on the ground. Oh, something is coming somebody's way. Listen, ge listen gentlemen, God himself has promised, and those promises God has promised you, they cannot fail. They are not in the hands of the devil to arrange or to work against those promises. Let me tell you about one or two persons that their morning came. One, it started from the beginning. The other one, was such that things were good, before, uh, were good for him before, but the enemy came and tampered with him, but he never died in that condition. I don't know what group you belong. That from the beginning you have not enjoyed, does not mean you will not enjoy. I don't know what, what group you belong. That you enjoyed sometime before, things ap uh, appeared to be good before, people used to come to your house before, but a change has taken place, nobody likes to look at your face again, does not mean things will end like that. Your morning will come. Help me to rise up and tell three persons, your money will come, don't give up. Because there's a set time. The, the alarm is in the hand of God. There's a set time. And it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. The first person I want to talk about is a man that is called Joseph. Joseph the dreamer. Joseph the one that had favor to, to receive a coat of many colors. Joseph. That actually God himself visited him to, to reveal to him what he could become. He had plans, he had revelations, he had dreams. But those dreams appeared, to, uh, appeared not to be coming. They appeared at the beginning like as if a mirage of the sun. But you know, Joseph's dreams came to pass. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what, you are, what plans you had. And yet, those plans are not being fulfilled. You have changed locations. You have changed stations. You have changed friends. Things still continue like that. Does not mean that things will continue like that indefinitely. As I've come this morning and this hour, I come to prophesy to you that very soon your money will break in the name of Jesus. And so you meet Joseph. Joseph. How are you? He says, fine. What's going on? He said, me too, I don't understand. That I am somebody who my father loved me. I'm somebody that had dreams. I had my first dream and I discovered that, you know, we were binding sheaves and, you know, my sheaves and my brother's sheaves were binding them. And then their sheaves bowed to my sheep and I understood. They too understood that I was going to rule. But the thing is not, the thing is like as if it, has, it was not a real dream. It's like as if it was a malaria dream. No, it's not a malaria dream. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Joseph said, I had another dream. This time around, it is the, the, the 11 stars and then the sun, the moon, they came and they bowed to me. Even my father discovered that that dream was a dream of, you know, leadership, rulership greatness and power but you know i don't know what is happening to me why was joseph complaining like that joseph said one day my father sent me to go and visit my brothers who had gone to work who had gone to business my father's business only to be arrested the way they rushed me i was thinking they were excited at me to welcome me they only took hold of me and then threw me into a pit they first of all removed my coat of many colors and threw me into a pit. And as I landed in the pit, I thought I would die. I didn't die. And I said, so am I going to end in the pit? Is that how I'm going to end my life? I, 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 just, I looked around. Everywhere was dark. In the pit. Wherein is no water. Joseph, what happened later? Joseph said, one day, they, they, so, so I had a call. They said, come up, you naughty boy. And I came out. I thought they just wanted to warn me to send me home. But you know, they only, I saw some people standing with them and I, there was a bargain. I came to discover later, I was sold out. Have they sold you out? You have been going from one problem to the other? And then uh, the destiny sellers and buyers have been the people gambling with your destiny? 
and you think that you'll end like that, somebody said, I won't end like that. And so they sold me out. And then I, I started going with people I never knew in life. I never had enjoyment again. And I was just going, I, I was thinking about my father. I was thinking about my coat of many colors. I was thinking about my dreams. I was saying, what is going on? I landed in a place they call Potiphar's house. They brought me out from the pit and they took me to Potiphar's house. Do you know, I was working with all my heart and all my life and everything only to find myself in the prison. Joseph said, what is wrong with my life? I need deliverance. So once I hear that word, he said, because I'm doing my best, but I'm going down. I try to love people, but they hate me the more. I try to be good to people, but they pay me evil for good. What is going on? I try to explain. I try to do, you know, help and then uh, no, bring people out of their problems. But me, uh, nobody attends to my own. I was in the prison. And so I stayed. I said, life has ended. The prison was bad. Worse than, you know, the pit. Worse than Potiphar's house. Worse than all the harassments I faced there. But now in the prison, a dark place, a place where you can't eat at the time you want to eat. You can't you know, see the people you want to see. You can't you know, sleep at the time you want to sleep. Everything was under control. Are you like that? And that your life is just that, you know, things are not going the way you planned, you thought would go. You've read about people, you've heard about people, how they live their lives, how good life looks like. But it's like, it is only a hearsay. You don't see it. You, you don't even, you can't even imagine it. But Joseph said, do you know, I was in that condition until my time came. Your time will come in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are going through as a, an expiry date, the time of deliverance will come. The time of celebration will come. The time of freedom will come. General Davis, wisdom revival. Stay tuned. Let me read from verse 17 to verse 22. Psalm 105. The Bible declares in that passage of scriptures, and it says, He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, 18. The Bible says, Whose feet they hurt in the prison. He was laid in irons. Go forward. And until, what's the next thing? The time. The time. There's a set time for somebody. You can't be under poverty, in poverty forever. Your barrenness will expire forever. I want to tell you, pain, poverty, frustration, hatred will, will expire. You, you, you have been going about like as if you didn't, God didn't plan that you would have friends or helpers of destiny, but no, they will soon rally around you. Until the time that his word came. And I come to declare to somebody by the word of the Lord, your time of suffering has expired. Your time of delay has expired. Your time of frustration has expired. Your time of disappointment has expired. The time that you will cry has expired. The Lord is bringing you out of failure to success. He's bringing you out of frustration to manifest the goodness of God. You will come out from sickness to, to health, from pain to prosperity. I don't know whether the person is in charge until the time came. Go back to verse 4 and 19. The Bible says, until the word, the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. Go forward to verse 20. The king, a message is coming to somebody. When your time comes, nobody can stop it. A king will be on assignment to look for you. Until the, the king sent and then uh, loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. Somebody is going to be going to enjoy freedom. Enjoy the freedom of prosperity. Enjoy the freedom of health. Enjoy the freedom of going to where you want to go. Eat what, what you want to eat. Move with who you want to uh, move with. But until and, and let him go free. Verse 21. The Bible says he made him, he had come out not to remain in, he remain a servant. He made him lord of his house. Why? It was his time. 
If you are in joy now, don't look down on those who are suffering because their time is coming also. If you are wearing shoes now, don't laugh at me because my shoe is not good. My time is coming. It's, there's a time for every person. The, it was Joseph's time. He didn't have, you know, uh, power to rule. Even his brothers were shafted at him. But when his time came, he became Lord and a ruler of you know, all the substance of Pharaoh. Go forward. The Bible says, he bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his senators. He was not the one, the teacher of senators, the teacher of members of House of uh, uh, Revs. The, teach, the teacher of you no know, of committees, you no know, instructor of great men. This was the person that was in the pit. This was the person they beat. This was the person they afflicted. This was the person that was denied. And then even the people he helped in prison forgot him. But when his time came, they never consulted any witch or any wizard. No, no coven was consulted. When, um, when Joseph's time came, all the places and the powers of darkness that conspire that his dreams will not come to pass. Are you having any dream to become great? Have you any plan to travel out of the country? Have you any no plan to become the person you want to become in life? And nobody you know, looks at your direction. They say, what is he doing? He's wasting his time.